Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the least common multiple. Now, as far as the least common multiple between numbers, this is going to be the smallest multiple in value that both numbers share. Now, a multiple is the result of multiplying a given number by an integer. When we think of the multiples of a number, we need to think about the numbers we get when multiplying that given number by integers. A simpler way to think about multiples is to think about skip counting. So all of the numbers something is going to hit when you count up by that number. Those are all going to be multiples. This will make a lot more sense as we go through our examples. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have nine and 12. We're going to start by listing some multiples of both nine and 12. Then we will look for common multiples and specifically the least common multiple, also referred to as the LCM. Let's start with some multiples of nine, which are nine times one, which is nine, nine times two, is 18, nine times three is 27, nine times four is 36, and nine times five is 45. So you can see that we just skip counted by nine to list those multiples. Nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, so on and so forth. Now I stopped at 45, because multiples go on forever, they are endless, they are infinite. My suggestion is to list four or five multiples when looking for the least common multiple. So list four or five multiples for each number, look for any in common, and if you don't have any in common, you can always extend the multiples lists. Now let's list the first five multiples of 12. 12 times one is 12. 12 times 2 is 24, 12 times 3 is 36, 12 times 4 is 48, and 12 times 5 is 60. So again, you can see that we skip counted there. We skip counted by 12. So 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, so on and so forth. Now that we have some multiples listed for both 9 and 12, we need to look for any common multiples, so any multiples that they share. And then specifically, we need to look for the least common multiple. Well, 36 is a common multiple, and it's going to be the least common multiple, so the smallest multiple in value that they share. So let's write that the LCM which stands for least common multiple, is 36. So the least common multiple of nine and 12 is 36. Now, one thing I do want to mention about common multiples is that they are infinite. Although we only have one common multiple in our lists as is, 36, we can always extend multiples lists. So we can always keep going to find more common multiples. Remember, multiples are endless, so that means common multiples are endless. So that's just something to think about when it comes to multiples. Let's move on to number two, where we have 10 and 25. Let's start with some multiples of 10. So 10 times one is 10, 10 times two is 20, 10 times three is 30, 10 times four is 40, and then 10 times five is 50. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so on and so forth. Now let's list the first five multiples of 25. So 25 times one is 25, 25 times two is 50, 25 times three is 75, 25 times four is 100, and then 25 times five is 125. Now that we have some multiples listed, we can look for common multiples, and specifically the least common multiple. Well, 50 is a common multiple, and it happens to be the least common multiple. So the LCM 
is 50. The least common multiple of 10 and 25 is 50. So there you have it. There's how to find the least common multiple. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.